Hello, welcome to Cult Confessionals. I am Sloan McCraw. I am your host. Today, we are joined by... Kat and Johnny. And you guys are the sole members of Children of the Rat Temple. More or less. More or less. Yeah. I mean, you have a... There's one more person that comes in sometimes. Yeah, we've had we've had as many as f- I think like four on stage, mm. but it's at its core, it's just Johnny and I. I think I'll start with the big question that I feel like every group is asked: is like, how did Rat Temple as a whole get its little start going? Um, I was licking a scab <laughs> on my on my knee in third grade, and. Uh, Johnny saw it and was like, yeah, I think I want to be friends with Kat. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that was pretty much it. We've been lifelong friends ever since. Yeah. Um, that's Started my... playing music together in, uh, what, like seventh grade? Yeah. Uh, we did um, Blitzkrieg Bop for the talent show. <laughs> Kat yeah. played guitar and I sang. It was, yeah. It was funny. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so, yeah. It's funny. I was going to ask where y'all like started individually, but I didn't know you guys were both together as friends for that long yeah yeah Yeah, we've known each other for a long time so and like for yeah like a few years before we started playing music for Mm. sure um did you both just start playing music together at the same time or Um, was it a little split up i started playing guitar at like seven oh yeah um yeah i don't know i don't know when did you start um i I took some piano lessons when I was a very small child. Um, I'm not much of a keys player at this point, but um, mm-hmm. then I played trumpet and I uh, started playing trumpet in fifth grade and played um, through junior high in the band and then didn't didn't do it in high school because I didn't uh, didn't want you know school spirit and all that. <laughs> started playing bass, wanted to play punk rock and yeah. wanted to be rebellious, so quit playing trumpet for like 14 years. Pretty sick. Uh, yeah, and then picked it back up. Someone gave me one. I should probably uh, start this up again. Word. <laughs> I didn't realize you had actually quit like playing trumpet for a while. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like I I don't want to play trumpet anymore. Right. It was just I I just kind of stopped. <laughs> it yeah. wasn't like screw this. I'm right. done with this stupid <laughs> instrument. <Just laughs> kind of faded out. Yeah. Yeah. Word. With Rat Temple, you guys, you guys sound is very particular in a way that it's. <laughs> Hard for me to like put into words often. Good, um, <laughs> <laughs> especially in the in the ways of um, advertising for the show that will be live streaming today. Word. Which by the time this comes out, it'll have already passed and will yeah. most likely be uploaded. Word. Um, but uh, how would you guys, coming <laughs> from the creators of it, describe your sound? Um. I, I don't know. Do we? Do you want me to feel this? <laughs> or, uh, I did it last this? time. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> yeah, I feel like we don't really have a, a good grasp yeah. on that either. It kind of, like in booking emails and things, it kind of changes, at least for me personally. Like from when we first started, I call it something different maybe now. It's all like, it's like it's psychedelic. It's electronic. There's some like, like, Johnny said a minute ago, like there's definitely like punk rock in our background. So I feel like that's still in there somewhere. Our friend Dave from Subtropolis in St. Louis called it electro psychedelic world beat, (laughs) which is a pretty, it's a pretty good like soundbite version, I think. Like maybe it doesn't quite catch it all, but it's like, it's wide ranging enough that I I use that in booking emails now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, it, it's I just always think of it because whenever I try to describe it, I just go, uh, "What the hell?" I just <laughs> pull up Spotify. Word. Word. Like, <laughs> yeah, like just listen to it. Yeah, so you got to hear this. Yeah, I always play a uh, Gossamer Winks. Nice. Whenever it's come into that. Word. But. That I feel like that's as far as like what we have on the internet mm-hmm. now. That's that's a good like. Yes, here's yeah. here's more or less what. They sound like. Uh, are y'all planning to release more to be streamed or just out? I mean, even like cassette or physical format. Yeah, mm-hmm. we we just finished recording an album. We're just uh, figuring out logistics oh. for um, getting it released. And we have some other like live stuff recorded that mm-hmm. that we need to put out on the web and, and tapes and stuff like that. But um, yeah, but we'll have we'll have a new album out sometime. Yeah. And hopefully the next few months. Yeah. Awesome. I, so I, I think it's very interesting because 
um, when your your sound is very different very often, and mm. I I really like it. And working with you guys on the Alt News Alt session yeah, yeah. last year uh, or earlier this year um, feels like last year. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a while ago, <laughs> yeah. and for me, it's separated through semesters of uh, school. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was, I mean, you guys have a really strong performing presence. Mm. Have y'all? thought of ways to like craft into that and falling into that or is it just something that just comes with what you're doing mm, I think maybe a, a little bit of both I feel like it just kind of started naturally and then it's just like kind of snowballed it just continues more like visual aspects are kind of like slowly growing and um, also just like trying to find ways to to like streamline things, yeah. right? Like we're always trying to like, okay, that was cool, but also it was like a lot of setup. So yeah. like, you know, like how to, how to like, we also travel fairly often. So like how to make the visual aspect something that we can travel with. Thinking more of just in your process of creating, mm. uh, where does a song start for y'all? And I want to specify that despite this being a show that is filmed on canvas, feel free to say, Whatever you want. I've oh. had a professor admit to being high on this show. Oh, nice. <laughs> cool. Um, I'm not high right now. But, um, uh, so, I mean, I know personally, like, it, our songs kind of, it depends. Like, a lot of times, I think they just happen naturally from, like, just practicing. Like, we'll just kind of, like, jam a lot in practices. And we've had songs come out of that. Um, there have also been things where, like, I'll come up with like, like I write a lot of songs, but they don't, I can kind of tell if they feel like a rat temple song or not. Yeah. Um, I don't, there's no good way to say like what feels right or not. It's just like, yeah, that feels like it could work um, with rat temple. Um, yeah. So it's, sometimes it starts with just lyrics or a melody or whatever. And then I'll just like bring it to practice and we'll just yeah. kind of try it out and see if it works or not. You know, um, I don't know. How does it work for you? Uh, it depends. Uh, sometimes, sometimes it's accidents. Um, it's, uh, I don't know. I, I, I get, um, I'll get fixated on like a certain genre of music for, uh, for a while and, mm -hmm. and kind of get inspiration from that and try to, try to, you know, learn how to make that style of music, but in my own way and, and, um, so a lot of it just comes from me experimenting with different different styles mm -hmm. and um sometimes so i do, i have a a solo project called hope Fiend, which is more it's more like electronic instrumental um so i i do uh sometimes i'll come up with something um uh, solo that I think might work with with Rat Temple, like uh, this would be cool with some guitar and, mm -hmm. and vocals on it, and I'll show it to Cat, and we'll we'll uh, yeah yeah mm -hmm. play around with it. So you guys process it really seems to like mesh and merge as it goes on, um, and you actually bring up something really important. Really, something I was going to ask um, beyond Rat Temple, what kind of solo projects have you guys been working on? So you've been working as Hope Fiend, yeah. and that's just your solo project. Yeah. Um, just anything with, like, just beyond Rat Temple that you both have been working on, individually, Work. together, even? Um, well, like Johnny said, we have this record that's that's done, um, mm -hmm. and we're just figuring out logistics and releasing and all that. So that's definitely that's a project that's coming. We have a lot of new songs, too, at, that are happening. Yeah, yeah um, we've been kind of, since we got the album um finished we've been in more of a creative creative phase i think yeah trying new things yeah definitely I think our um some of our new stuff is a lot more dancey i think than okay. than uh some of our older stuff yeah um so I feel like it's gotten faster i feel yeah. like yeah it all start even like the music itself started out slow and yeah. and like droney mm -hmm. and it's gotten more like melodic and dancey um, but yeah, Johnny does Hope Fiend. I do solo things too. It's just under my name, um, mm -hmm. Cat Holiday. Um, I actually have a record, an EP coming out at the end of this month. Um, actually, this is the first time I'm talking about it publicly, so drop. Uh, 
<laughs> <laughs> Shameless plug. Um, and then I, I do some duo stuff with uh, my friend Heather Hammers, too, okay. as well. So, and, yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you all have any links or anything to share, then I can always like pop them in the description after. So yeah, for, sure. um, for anyone yeah. that wants to, uh, nice. go ahead and put those down. At Word. least Rat Temple. Yeah, you know, yeah, of course, that's what's always. Up. <laughs> yeah. And you guys have been touring a lot recently. Um, have you all been on like a continuous tour, or has it just been weekends? Or well, mostly, mostly just weekends. Weekends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. We both we have. did a tour. We did like a week long tour last last fall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we haven't done anything um, consistent like that in a while, but it, but it's been almost every weekend for the past couple months. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it feel, it's like a tour with stops at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like tour, go back, tour, go back. Uh, it's like two or three dates in a row, and then we've got to come back and you know do yeah. our other do our boring mundane day things. That's fair. Yeah. Um, how's the tour been in general for you guys? It seems like it's been running for a while. So. Yeah. Um, I mean, personally, it's been dope. It's you know, there's. It's like somebody asked me at the so we played this World Beat Fest last weekend in St. Louis and somebody was like, "Do you guys do you guys actually make money playing music?" And I was like, "I mean, yeah, like we're not like rolling in dough or nothing, but like, you know, it's part of like the traveling part is like you do that so you can like make it a viable entity and just like to keep it going right like as if you're Mm -hmm. not playing the it just the wheels if the wheels aren't turning then the vehicle's not rolling um but he's like you know are you making money i was like yeah like a little bit he's like what's it like (laughs) (laughs) um and i was like i mean it's pretty cool but it's also like it's work you know like i think a lot of people who like don't play music and aren't doing that or like oh that that must be so fun and like Mm -hmm. yeah it's fun but it's also like it's it's work you know (laughs) like you gotta work it i was talking to my um um person who owns the business that i work at and um and she saw that i had um you know a weekend that I wasn't going to be around. She was like, "Oh, what are you, where where are you going on vacation this weekend or something?" I was like, "No, I'm uh, I'm playing some shows up in Wisconsin." She's like, "Oh, that's kind of like a vacation, isn't it?" And I was like, uh, "No, it's work." <laughs> 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 I mean, it's fun parts yeah. of it, but it's it's also, you know, um, you know, physically and um, energetically demanding. Mm-hmm. Um, I love it, but but it is work. Mhm. I guess there is a sort of idolization of just the kind of like rocker mm-hmm. life and everything. Yeah. Uh, do you guys like, I mean, with your work and everything, just getting it before, I mean, is that something that you've experienced pretty often then? Mm, uh, what, what do you mean? Just that like idea that like, oh, doing the music and the tours, like, I mean, it's, it is fun and I'm mm-hmm. sure you guys enjoy doing it, but yeah. like it is something you do to like work yeah yeah like we want we want the band to to continue and like we want it to grow like it's not like we do it for fun if we weren't i feel like i can speak for us both on this like if we weren't having fun we would right stop (laughs) like like all right this sucks Um, as, as far as the and as far as the money goes like we don't we don't use the money for ourselves it's uh, right. we put it all into a mm-hmm. into a band fund yeah. so we can tour and put out records and make merch and all that you know hopefully someday we um we'll, have, we'll be able to you know spend that you know right have, make enough to um you know kind of make a living off of but um as of right now it's it, it's all just to you know yeah. keep going as a yeah. band mm-hmm. for sure Makes sense. Gotta gotta make money to live. Gotta live to yeah. make money. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, and as far as like the whole like people, I I definitely think there's like a there's a contingent of people that I've dealt with in like my day jobs, or it's like, oh man, that's so great. Like I'm that's so cool, and it's like yeah, it, it is. But I think there is some like disconnect in understanding like the realities of it mm-hmm. also. Just thinking again about like the creative process, the creative processes, the processes that you guys have. Mm. Um, uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> my mic stand has got a mind of its own. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Adam. 
<clears throat> um, Cut, edit. <laughs> <laughs> Adam is, in fact, the editor. Oh, um, nice. <laughs> my, <laughs> um, my editor that has sadly lost his voice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can we find my marbles? <laughs> uh, behind the couch the whole time. <laughs> um, but yeah, so think about y'all's inspiration now. Um, mm. What kind of? I'll, I'll put. I was going to ask music, but what kind of general media do you guys consume? That just it doesn't really have to add into what you make with Rat Temple or on your own, but just the kind of stuff you like in your day to day. Um, I'm about to finish the Sarah Connor Chronicles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I mean, as far as like music or just anything. Just anything. Anything. Because really anything that people make now is going to be super multimedia. Yeah. So yeah, for sure. Um, I don't know. I love film for sure. And like mm. all kinds of film, like from like really shitty B, B horror and C and D horror to like, you know, Fellini and, and whatever kind of like art film you can, I like all kinds of film. Mm -hmm. um, and, and literature, like definitely, I feel like films and books personally um, have factored into a lot of like the songs I write um, lyrically, like one of our two, I Promethean that's on, um, mm -hmm. it's on Spotify and YouTube and all that right now. Um, it'll be on the record too, but. Um, that's like was directly inspired by reading um, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Okay, yeah. Um, so like a lot of that filters in lyrically, I think, and just like like I'll be like watching a movie and uh, I'll like stop. I gotta record that. Like that's a great line. <laughs> or like I'll stop and like text myself this line or whatever. Yeah. Um, I don't know all kinds of stuff. Like all kinds of music. Um, been <laughs> playing a wedding next weekend uh, solo, and I've been having to learn a lot of goth tunes for it because it's a, it's a goth wedding. Um, okay. So I'm pretty stoked for that. But so it's like, and it's all stuff I've kind of dug, but it's like, oh, it's dope to like actually learn how to play this tune. Mm. Um, I don't know, like all kinds of we. Um, what was that? Uh, oh, what was the movie we played it at Hangar? Um, oh, uh, Stalker. Yeah. Uh, oh. What was the um, that? Uh, Russian director, what's his name? I can't remember. Stop, look it up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, it was projected on on the wall while we played. I bet I just finished reading the um, Sandman comics. Oh uh, yeah. I don't know if that's uh, I don't know if yeah. that's um, influenced my music at all. Maybe I don't know. Um, I I have been I've been on a drum and bass kick. Is uh, been pretty obsessed with <laughs> with that at the <laughs> moment. Um, so that's that's the that's the phase I'm in right now. Uh, before that, it was it was uh, like Detroit techno and then Berlin yeah. techno and um, I don't know had a cumbia kick and uh, uh, um, like gypsy jazz klezmer brass bands and stuff. So it's yeah. the my um, musical. Tastes are are constantly like 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 I said earlier. I'll, I'll I'll fixate on a certain kind of music for a while, and right now it's it's drum and bass, and that's and mm -hmm. it's definitely uh, influencing my um, creative process at the moment. So. Mm -hmm. I think that really reflects on y'all's like versatility in mm -hmm. what you make too. Just different influences from different times. Yeah, um, and. I have been thinking for the past minute since you said it, Sandman by Neil Gaiman. Yeah, right? Neil, yeah, Neil yeah, Gaiman, yes. he's, he's, yes. he's amazing. He's one of my Incredible. favorite authors. Yeah. I need to read the comics. I have watched the Netflix show they made, mm -hmm. yeah. which yeah. was pretty cool. Had good visuals. Yeah, yeah. Um, you should read it. Yeah, definitely. It's so good. It was Andre Tarkovsky. Ah, uh, yes. Stalker, yes. yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice, you did look it up. I did. <laughs> I was thinking in the back of my head because I'm familiar with him. Yeah, as most media students are made to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the soundtrack of that movie is really cool. A lot of yeah. cool synthy stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. So yeah, I don't know, I'm just all over the place, really. Oh, yeah. As far as like what we digest and watch and listen to, and what factors in. You know? mm -hmm. 
I've also been looking at your water bottle for most uh, interview, seeing yeah. the Goner sticker. Yeah, you're from Memphis, right? Yes, yeah. I am from Memphis. Nice. I have a good friend, Dane, that works at Goner. Nice. It was Goner Fest was like this weekend, right? Yeah. yeah. I was thinking about going, but I just Word. couldn't make the drive down. Yeah. Even though I drove three hours <laughs> <laughs> anyways. <laughs> yeah, but that, you know, you got to you gotta prioritize. Right? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. So that's what's up. Yeah. One way or the other. Well, this was my, I got this, this was like a promo water bottle from my old job oh. and I didn't want to look at my job's logo all the time. <laughs> so I put the goner sticker over it. Sick. So, yeah. It's much, much better. It makes me much happier to look at. I had stickers on mine, but I was in this group that was turned out to be not very cool. So I just ripped most of the stickers <laughs> off. At once. So. Purge. <laughs> yeah. I know the feeling. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what's up. <laughs> feels like we're getting to a good point, so Word. I can go ahead and would you guys like anything to in general to say? Like just last thoughts from the interview, just anything you'd like to share? Mm, come to our shows, buy our shit, uh, <laughs> <laughs> help us keep playing music. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's dope to uh be able to do this and have people dig it and have people like actually want to talk to us about it and uh i'm stoked for our record to come out and y'all should keep your ears and eyes peeled for that yeah. yep <laughs> work for pizza yeah that's true we will work for pizza actually <laughs> um, will and have nice. and uh yeah, there was this one trip where it was like every show we just got pizza. And they're like, oh, there's free food. You get food. And I was like, what is it? Pizza. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right. Cool. And you, you guys have always been Carbondale based, right? More or less, yeah. Well, Johnny right. Johnny lives in um, Spiller Town. Spiller Town, yeah. yeah. Uh, and that's around where I grew up around there too. Um, the north, north side, north side boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but now I live in Macanda. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, but I mean, yeah, it's like whenever you we go out of town and you're like, "Where are you from?" Like Southern Illinois. Like we're at like Carbondale, right? Like that's yeah, like, yeah, 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 for sure. Um, that's where people know more or less. Yeah. yeah. I always say that I'm going to school in Illinois, and people are like, "Oh, Chicago? Yeah. No, <laughs> no, no." I know, legit. That's same, same as like you go out of state and they're like, "Where are you from?" I'm like, oh, Illinois. And like, oh, Chicago. I'm like, no, Southern Illinois. And like, oh, like Kankakee. Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> nah, dude. Uh, closer to Kentucky and uh, <laughs> geographically and like I think culturally. For uh, sure. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Uh, we're in a Kentucky, yeah. Missouri sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> dude, we're the ooh, <laughs> we're, the meat, we're the meat in the Kentucky, Missouri sandwich. Uh, I'm all right with that. Uh, I think Johnny's vegetarian though, right? So maybe uh, pescatarian. Not, pescatarian, yeah. right? Mm. I tried fish. it. I tried it. I dabbled in uh, non-meat eating, and and then I was at a blues fest, and there was this fried bologna there, and, I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and um, recently, like. Um, stop drinking, right? And we were at this liquor store on on tour recently, and uh, we were like in there. And I, w I went in, and I was like, I was not tempted by all. There was like all this like nice beer and like this is like fancy liquor. I was like not tempted by any of that. But we were walking out, and there were like Mickey's grenades, like the malt liquor, and I was like, damn, that looks good. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think it's like I, I tastes. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure what that says about my tastes, but uh, I'm tempted for fried bologna and Mickey's. Yeah, dude. yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. lowbrow and high art. It's all good. Um, um, so, as is tradition with yeah. my show, considering we are cult confessionals, oh. um, this has been a juicy cult <laughs> confession. <laughs> I always have to ask at the end: Do either of you have a confession to leave with the confessional? Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> uh, gotta give me a little something. I lost my virginity in a confessional booth. Oh! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> actually, that's a lie. Oh! Um, but I did. I did lose my virginity in Johnny's bed, not with Johnny. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's a confession. Um, <laughs> I. 
I once ejaculated in a tub of sour cream for fifteen dollars. <laughs> nice. <laughs> And um, my friend was mad at his parents, and they had tacos the next day. <sighs> Man, those are both really good. Where do you? Especially Cat, your fake out one really got me for a second. <laughs> nice. I should have left it. I, sh I should have left it. That's all right. You got to be honest. I hope right? my mom doesn't listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. You didn't tell her who the friend was. <laughs> I know, but I I won't I won't confess that. This was a very long time ago. I was in like junior high, so don't be don't don't judge me. <laughs> We Too all, late. We all I, it would take a, it would take a little <laughs> bit more than fifteen dollars these days. How much would it take, Johnny? I don't know, seventeen bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Rates gone up. Yeah. Yeah, inflation goes. Yeah, yeah, gotta have factor in inflation. <laughs> inflation. But this economy can't be jizzing for fifteen. <laughs> Get paid yeah, more dude. to donate. That's right. what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what it's like to be a working musician. <laughs> 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 What'd you do for a slice of pizza? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the kind of pizza. For me. Well, thank you both for Word. joining me for the confession. Yeah. Um, Thanks for having us. This has been Colt Confessionals, and I've had with me... Kat and Johnny. Both members of Children of the Rat Temple, a very interesting band that I still can't describe, but you should have heard it earlier, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you for listening. Tune in. We are still going every other week. So thank you, everyone. Love you, mean it. Bye. <laughs>